Oh boy, now I expect I'll do a video on about a, a black safe they got uh, 2020. Yeah, that's like, well, four years ago, technically. Well, great, but, uh, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, Black Series. <laughs> okay, so for context, with the recent hiatus slash, you can kind of say departure of the Lightning Collection figure toy line for, for, uh, has, for Power Rangers that has blow taken a break from, I decided that since I'm getting back into Star Wars a lot lately, I said go focus on another toy line from Hasbro that is in Marvel Legends at the time. And well, I remember that, oh yeah, Star Wars Black, oh yeah, Star Wars Black series are figures that are good puzzle articulation and all that. And yeah, I can, yeah, I can say the benefit of the doubt that uh, this figure right here is that. <laughs> so, ho <laughs> ho. Yeah. Okay, let okay, let's begin the video. Hello everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. I your lovely awesome host, Bokusatsu, and I I'm here to review not a Toku not well, kind of a Toku figure, but uh, yeah, I'm here to review a to a somewhat Toku figure. <laughs> let's go with it. I'm not reviewing a Lightning Collection or an SA figure or any of that, hell no. I'm here to review the Star Wars Black Series Ahsoka Tano from The Mandalorian. Yes, this is her Mandalorian look. The one... <laughs> this... This is, well, yeah. If you if you know what Star Wars is, you know Ahsoka Tano is. He's the apprentice of, well, Anakin Skywalker. And I bought this figure because... One, at the time, the Soka grave was hitting on hitting retail stores like everywhere very early before November. And number two, I canceled my pre-order on the Soka Disney Plus series version of the Soka figure, and I bought this instead because this is it's basically the exact same thing except the, except the new one cover with way more color for. A pants and belt, but at the same time, there's no reason for me to get that other Soka because I have this one right here. So, yeah. But, yeah, I'm here to view the Black Series of Soka Tunnel from The Mandalorian. And, uh, I have, I have a lot of things to say for it. Alright, first, uh, for a $20 figure, this is actually really good. Hold on. For a $20 figure, she posed pretty well, good articulation, good posability. Her neck is a little bit tight here and there. Granted, granted, uh, I won't be getting like a lot of I won't be I won't be getting like a lot of not a lot of neck articulation. But that's but that's totally fine. She's not like she's not like Lightning Collection or Marvel Legends level for for neck articulation. That's totally fine with me, but still. This is how far her arms go up. You can scroll them. That's that. I fucking love that virus. Me, sorry, I freaking love that by the way. I didn't mean to curse, that's just a slip out, but yeah. This is a, uh, this is, this is really, again, this is a $20 figure and uh, posability is really good. I, oh yeah, forgot. Her legs are, oh, ow. Her legs are a little bit tight. I honestly don't know why, but um, but uh, besides that, be careful. You don't be careful. Don't hurt your hands because, yeah, yeah, her her legs are annoying to uh, pull out for pull out for like posability. But yeah, no ab crunch, but she can do this, which is which is good. And here's the here's the scope. scope there. Here's the face render of of Ahsoka Tano. This, this, I'll be honest. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This looks just like her actress from the uh, from the show. And I, I love it. I freaking love it.
you can honestly tell that Hasbro put a lot of care and love into this. Granted, I know the Black Series line has that issue like many other toy lines for, for Hasbro. Don't get me started, Marvel Legends and Lightning Collection. But still, for a $20 figure, she's, she's really good. <laughs> good articulation, good color scope, good posability. Her legs are annoying at times, so be careful. Be careful with how you pose, because you don't want to hurt your hands. I almost did hurt my, hurt my uh, fingers when I was trying to pose it up for pictures when I first got her. Uh, by the way, I want to point out, I got the figure on the on the same day that the final episode of the Soka series ended. And I found that ironic and funny, but but yeah. If you don't want to know my thoughts on the Soka series in general, I didn't like it. Just going to point like that. And yeah. And uh, yeah. So let's go on to our accessories. <laughs> no. I know that black. I know that I know that not a lot of black city figures come with like a lot of accessories, and I'm actually fine with that because less is more. So what I love about figures that uh, I prefer less than more. Less is more. What I'm trying to say, and uh, black series does that perfectly because she only comes with like two accessories: her lightsabers, and uh, and. I, and I want to point out, I really do love how uh, it's that easy for me to put to take this out and just put it back in. Because if you take it out, well, you can, you can take this bad boy out. And you can put it right here. And uh, yeah. Is you can make her hold her lightsabers like you can make her hold her lightsabers well on her uh, on her chest because there are holders right there for them. I didn't know that until until I first until I first opened the Black Series Luke Skywalker from the Mandalorian, and I saw that oh okay, there's a hope okay there's a holster I can put his lightsaber on that's cool. And Soka has that too, and I love that. But granted, the, granted, the, the, she had that in the show too, but you get what I mean. Here we go. Here's the other lightsaber. I love the detail on this thing. I, I love the detail on this. Yeah. I, I, I love this detail on this lightsaber though. What the, <laughs> so good. Hasbro, how the heck are you guys doing better with your Star Wars stuff more than your Power Rangers? That, that's, granted, they had Star Wars way longer, yeah, but at the same time, I'm just really questionable with, with how the Lightning Collection brand got treated through all time that it was releasing a lot of new stuff so now we're done with that let's go on the size comparison and since this is a Star Wars video <laughs> here we have the black series Sabine from the latest Ahsoka Rave and yes I will review her next do not worry for like Star Wars figure wise here she is with the SH figure art Luke Skywalker from The Mandalorian. Season 2, by the way, I want to point this out. Alright, then we're going to move them out of the way. Here she is with the. Uh, with the, well, with the, sorry, with the Star Wars Black Series, Clone Wars, Anakin Skywalker. I will get Obi-Wan, do not worry. By the way, I'm going to put this out. This, this Anakin right here is a Target exclusive. Fourthly, my Target didn't have him. Well, it didn't, so I, I, went, I bought mine from eBay a couple, a couple of days ago. Why would, why would you not stand up? Right, here you go. Uh, 
I love that. Master and student. Speaking of her master, here, here she is with the, well, with the Kenobi Dark Vader. Granted, I already know this is just a reissue of the Empire Strikes Back Vader, but, but yeah. Although, the, the, the last version didn't have this skirt. This one does, because, well, the Kenobi series, he had this type, he had, he had this skirt, so, yeah. Let's pull her a few Toku females. Here she is with, with a Reika. Sup, girl. Sup, Reika. Oh, God. Here she is with Nago. Um, I'll, put, I'll put right there. And here she is with a Lightning Collection Down Fairy Green Ranger. All right, she stayed pretty. She stayed pretty well with uh with Sab with Sabella, Nago too. But granted, her look like Nago is almost the exact same size as her, and uh, same for uh well, <laughs> same for Izzy as well. <laughs> All right, let me go move this out. Of the way. Let me go move them out of the way. But overall, what did I think? Well, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. This figure is awesome. <laughs> this figure is awesome, though. It, again, not perfect with with the legs, but uh, the figure is awesome. I wish that uh, I really did wish that uh, Lightning Collection had the exact same treatment as Star Wars did. For like for like for, for like black save rides because perfect scope, good articulation, the weapon are painted really well nicely. The thing it's almost like this thing is get way more treated bad than ninety nine percent of the lightning collection rave. I'm not even joking. But overall, I think it's I think the Soga figure is pretty good. Now, granted, if she came out this year, she would be part of my top ten. But uh, she's not. But her uh, well, her her so-called Padawan. Yep, Sabine Red is a. Oh god, Sabine Red is a contender for top ten this year. Cause the more I play with the figure, the more I'm loving it. And don't worry, I will do my review on. I will do my review on on Sabine here eventually, so do not worry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh well, very good, very good figure. I loved it. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media description. I hope you all enjoyed this video because I want I want to bring more Star Wars content to my channel. Cause you guys, you guys love you guys love when I bring Dragon Ball to my channel. I want to bring Star Wars too, so yeah, I love both franchises as well, just like just as Toku. But yeah, thank you all for yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow all my social media, subscription, subscribe to my channel too. By the way, I'm putting the notification button on for my next video. I'm trying to reach 100 subs. Well, 100, a thousand subs this year, and with you guys help, I can reach that. I can reach a thousand subs, and we'll all be happy. <laughs> but yeah. Till next time, guys. Enjoy the pictures. See ya.